gotcha. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, well, two. Here we go. One. I'm going to be watching Slip to start off. We'll be getting the Mega Spawn. Can leave the Mega up for a second while he collects the Shaft and lower green. Um, Pika's going to be incredibly annoying on this one to deal with. You can drop off ledges, pop the Pika. Oh, what a rocket though. Yeah, I slipped it well not to follow up and engage in that. I heard the piercing sight, which is most important. Oh. Yeah, great attack. <laughs> we wanted him to... Uh... Show some aggressiveness, but uh, yeah, slip slips out of the fight, and this will mean a lot on such a big map. He uh, is able to evade any fight, but Somra is still applying pressure, doubling back to the mega health. This is a mistake as well to to choose for the mega to try apply that pressure rather than go for the heavy, because now Slip has that heavy, he's going to feel so much more comfortable. I can't afford to pop the peaky out because he might come up the bounce pad. He's going to be thinking about popping it now anyway. Yeah, not getting any opening damage. Sombra waiting on the heavy. Oh, he actually oh, walked away from it. Yeah, it, it, it indeed did not spawn when he was there, so I think he just. Uh, Time. Yeah, well, it was Slip who uh, picked up the previous one. Mm. But that means that uh, <laughs> Slip is a healthy stock and peeker. Some of it uh, gets stripped away by the real gun. Stop watch. From Sombra. And again, he's uh, yeah, not in the area for this heavy. It does get a real eyes around the corner. Yeah, and got time on it now, which is important. He's doing well, uh, mind, to actually deal free Railguns. Not really taking any. Pika, we've been waiting for it. Perfectly utilized. The mid air rocket will pick up the frag as well. Mega for his efforts. Plenty of time to get back over. And be careful of that shotgun, though. Damage for the light armor there as well. Stop watch. Oh, here he's lower, so we can just ignore this and push through. Uh, he's got the crowd slide. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we we, 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 we did uh, saw something like this on the Woken, right? Um, like, Pfizer does not really have a movement advantage, you only have the knowledge. But Slip is playing a champion where you can just uh, yeah, slip out on any fight. Yeah. So this negates. I mean, what does it give you as well? If you've got a, a strong and Pika coming in at like 100 miles an hour, you're gonna, it's going to give you access to the first rocket or the first the first railgun. And you have to hit it. You don't hit it. The, the rest of the, the ultimate piece of side is basically irrelevant. It's a lot of machine gun damage. Ooh. Okay. In the legs. To zero. Yeah, we finally have something right. uh, going for Somba. Oh, but he eats a rocket. He, he had the heavy to fight with. I'm surprised he didn't pop the struggling Pika there, honestly. I think um, he had enough distance between them. It would mean, yeah, it would mean it would come back up at roughly the same time as the piercing side. Good play. On the board. 
Ja, met half of the map plate. Uh, slip still niet zo lekker bij Railgun. Wat die das? Get one. But not for free. Five minute warning. Yeah, items are still synced up. And Slip is waiting on this heavy which he will get for free. No, not for free. Great damage from the rail. Oh no. Uh, uh, after that, it's just flaky. <laughs> Nothing hitting. That was the first time we saw Piss and Tate actually used um, well though, in, in that it, it was able to resort to some opening and free damage. Yeah, the crack slide is so nice to get to another position. Five deficit now. Yeah, I, I think if you're Sombra, you're just gonna have to give up on the fact that you're not going to be able to take both IMs, and you have to set up a sneaky trap. Why, why does no one want to shoot the Pika, though? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess he thought he had an angle yeah. on Slip, so. <laughs> That's the story of the day, though, I think. Players um, opting to go for the frag more often than not than just shutting down the Pika. They don't want to lose position. He is running out of time. He just need to push this. And just look at the distance you cover. <laughs> You can take one rail if you really want to. Is just better. Maybe a bit more pay, like similar to what we saw uh, moments ago. Uh, maybe patience is what Sombra needs in some of these fights. It just feels like as soon as he sees red, he goes, you know, he looks for the damage. For example, down at heavy armor a moment ago, when instead maybe he didn't need to deal the damage. Maybe he should just let him take it, even though we are running out of time, of course. Looks like it's all she wrote. And GG called. So on that, I'm going to bid all of you farewell. I'm going to say thank you very much for having me today. And uh, I wish you good games for the rest of the stream. And obviously, this next match in this best of three between Sombra and Slip. Yeah, thanks uh, for assisting us today. Always nice yes, to hear I'm your voice. <laughs> Likewise. One have a good morning. have a good show, everyone. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Uh, let's see what's up next. Uh, slip taking this one. Uh, we move on to Runes of Sarnath, where Sombra is playing Ranger and Slip is playing Death Knight.
Yeah, so they are playing on location with the mirrored uh, hardware setup and uh, of course through the same connection. So it's not ping zero, it's uh, ping 23. But at least it's, uh, uh, yeah, both players having uh, the same uh, setup. Which is already very nice, in my opinion. It's it's basically that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we're we're back. No, yeah, I, I, I yeah. I I don't think it, it is land, but but it means a lot that both players are have, uh, yeah fighting in the same condition. Yeah. So there's no ping difference or uh, routing problems. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's it's technically not that, but it's very close to it. Oh, we're back to the lobby. Yeah, I think uh, Slip needs to reboot his uh, PC. Some live edit then, and we are jumping into Runes of Sarn. And uh, yeah, who took the first map? Because I, I wasn't here. Uh, Slip did. Okay. Yeah, so let's start on Sombra, playing Ranger from Runes of Sarnath against Death Knight. Uh, slash was bent. Uh, but I do like the answer of Death Knight, uh, then you can at least equalize uh, the burst damage. Yeah, Death Knight not a, not a champion that we see so often anymore. And, uh, but can be very interesting to... Like when it's actually being used. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder if he's now being chosen more uh, because uh, he's been fetch. Oh, what the <laughs> will always be as effective as we just saw. And that's satisfying. Ooh, like, yeah, this is what changed the, the damage when you step on it. It's now, uh, yeah, like it should be. It's more consistent. Okay, yeah. So every time you step your toes in it, uh, you will get uh, two ticks of stack removed. And, uh, well, that's 
slip with the second frag there to tie the lead between, oh, to tie the score between these two, and uh, Sombre gets another one there with the rail, and uh, I mean... <laughs> Is this Runes of Sarnev or a Corrupted Keep? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Oh, nearly walks into the fire there, but managed to escape that nice LG. Has a little bit of trouble climbing up on the big eye. Uh, eyes are slippery. Yeah. And a bit soft, I suppose. And uh, slip. He's working with a you know, better stack here, but there comes a... Ooh, he... Oh, he was ready for that orb. Looked like it was going to be a bait orb, but it was actually executed in the last second there. And... Well, it's been a lot of trading going on between the two of them here, and uh, still hard to determine who's going to start racking up some, some control here. Yeah, they have basically been in each other's face for two minutes. That's why we see six tracks on the board in such a big map. Ooh, yeah, Somra's going to disappear in flames. That's the second time that Slip has uh, gotten a kill beyond the grave, so to say. And so uh, that uh, fire strikes doesn't definitely been of, of good help for him here. I mean, been, uh, if, if Sombre managed to, to take him out, he's been able to get the frag in the end anyway, but it's still just, it's still 5-3, Sombre's still up 2, and uh, yeah, like we said, still no one's been really been able to start like controlling the items or, or anything like that. Uh, it's been very, very back and forth between the two. Yeah, slip though with the... So much overstack. Very healthy boy for that man. And yeah, the result is another frag for him. Sombra with only the real taking a stance. Is he going to? Yeah, he's hit. Second one. And yeah, gets in position for the mega health. Slip needs bullets for his LG, so. The mega health goes for free to Sombra. Is he amazing attack? The meatballs are loaded. Stop watch. Yeah, it gets used as a warning sign. Don't fall down. Don't you dare. A great rails again from Sombra. Followed up by the orb play. Wow, look, can he get the third? Oh! Slip missed the jump. He had a chance to rail him there, get the third. But uh, oh, Slip's stuck here though. What? Yeah. Nice. Sombre's hitting the rails. Seventy-three <sighs> percent. Let's see here. What's what can happen between the two. I mean, it's 7 to 4 now to Sombre. Slip working with a little bit of a deficit here. It's just kind of slipped away through his fingers and <laughs> been able to get three uh, three of the frags that he received have been with the with the fire strike. And that's the eighth frag now for Sombre. Uh, showcasing some great rail skill here. And wow. <laughs> Slip gets sent into the sky and oh, the rail. He will lose out on the heavy. This would have meant something for a slip if we didn't walk into a ton of damage after collecting that item. Oh, no. but... <laughs> this is so back and forth right now. It's very hard to determine. I mean, because it's still early days. Uh, if slip can build up some nice control here, he can definitely turn this around. Sombre looking sharp though with with his rails, and we all know how how instrumental the rails can be on a, on a map like this. Especially if you're in Sombre's position right now, you can already at this point start considering perhaps not going super duper aggressive. Just try and, and rail slip from a distance. Well, you still have to put pressure on the items as he is doing here. He's trying to contest his mega here, but he's taking a ton of damage from slip, flame strike, LG rockets, you name it, and. Uh, 
that Slip's thick drag on the board. Yeah, it's such a great rocket from Slip. Just pushing Somba away from the Mega Health up the stairs. And yeah, maybe he should have just dropped down and uh, escaped the area altogether, but yeah. He wanted to fight for the Mega Health and died for it. So, totally out of control. Not really having the weapons to fight with. Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, Slip's time right now. Oh yeah, hot. Uh, that's the that's the fifth flame strike kill, I think, or like the fourth. He's been getting so many of those, and uh, Sombra is lucky to escape with those kills. I mean, just another tick or so, and he will die. But ten to eight now, but. It's kind of turned around at this point. I feel like Slip is definitely on the uprise here, and Sombra is the one who's being hunted. And as I say, that Slip racks up his ninth rag on the board with the rail, and now Sombra is in a actually in a very dark situation because here comes Slip again with a flame strike, and yeah, that, that's the, that's the fifth flame strike kill. And uh, that ability, he's been using it to damn near perfection. This match. Okay. And just like that, Slip is in the lead. 11 to 10. And he was down 9 to 5, I believe. And uh, in about 2 minutes or so, he's uh, turned that around completely. And there's the 6th flame strike kill. Just amazing from Slip. Here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like Sombra doesn't know, uh, or. No, he probably knows, but uh, conceding is not in his game plan right now. He just wants to fight. Finally, Sombra is coming back with a couple of kills. Two strings, uh, two uh, kills that he has managed to string together, which uh, now leaves it at 12 to 12. And it, it, it does seem that Slip has the, the, the same game plan. He just wants to fight. Yeah. I guess the Spaniards are very aggressive in their game plan. That's a hat trick now from Sombre. And wow. That's the sport bag. Like managed to turn this around. I, I'm very impressed by that. But it was a, that was a, a very dire position to be in there for quite some time. And is this going to be the. No, he gets that health bubble, but it was about to be the sixth or seventh. Flame strike kill, but in the end, he morning. saves his own life there. And I'd say now, I mean, it's three frags in, in less than a minute. Now he doesn't really need to fight at all, but I think he needs to. He knows that he's more or less dead because he was so low, so he just wanted to deal as much damage as possible, which is a decision that I like because look at Slip's HP, it's very low. And um, at this point, Sombra can just, can just wait, wait. It's just 40 seconds left, so I don't think there's any way he can lose this. Never mind, 69 HP. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> 30 seconds, do you think he can do this? Yeah, if he knows where he spawns, yeah, he, he might have heard the jump, right? Oh, now he definitely sees him. Yeah, Sombra only with the tribalt. He will certainly uh -oh. die, uh -oh. right? Oh, oh, the Europe escape. That was, and he that falls was down to the heavy, right? No, he just <laughs> escapes. The fight. No, he's still there. What? Okay. That was uh, you lose. too close for comfort. But yeah, Sombra ties it up. So we are going to get a, a third map, which is more Quake for us. I'm not complaining. Oh, me neither. And uh, it looked like Sip was going to be able to, to run away with that. And look at this, almost 30 frags on Runes of Sarna. Uh, like, <laughs> normally this is a pretty composed map, right? There is such, so much room to, to play duel, but they were really going at each other. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it seemed that they both had a game plan to just go full blast and try and and uh well take the high ground from that but uh, uh not sure i mean this is a uh, this is where it all 
this is where it's all gonna happen here on the third map and yeah after that first map after that second map it's gonna be very interesting to see how this one is gonna be i mean if it's gonna be a fast paced insomnia tends to be a pretty fast paced map uh, if i'm not mistaken I suppose it depends on which the champions are but what do you say about this matchup do you think it's gonna be like uh, based I'm... on the champions yeah well i do think that uh slip uh, will be a bit more on the defensive side of us playing a light. Oh, yeah. But yeah, here we are. Prepare for fight. Insomnia. I'm on some rap. Round begins in begin with three, two, one. Fight. I'll see you. Oh, and he gets a super nice bomb. He gets to the night. The tasty heavy. Yeah, we don't see an engagement yet. Timmy the turret uh, gets removed. Both players collect their weapons. Yeah, felt each other out there, but both of them fired a rail, but they both missed. And the tribal could do some damage there too. Yes. Slip. It is interesting though that Sombra already switched to the Mega Health. So now the Heavy goes to Slip. And the Heavy is so much worth in the hands of a light champion. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ghostwalk is popped actually, I don't really see the reason why, but... Well, that was it, that was perfect. Now I see the reason why. That was just like, luring Sombra into a full state of security and then just... Just stay up on that platform and, and then just... It's like a, what's it called, an ambush, and uh, yeah, did, did he use the uh, the invis to get the frag? I'm not sure where he used the invis. I don't know. He just popped it, and then I suppose he did use it to get the frag. I mean, he just popped it, and then he just stayed up there, and and so Sombre was thinking that he was just Sombre probably thought that he fell back because he was low or something, and then. He just stayed up there and uh, surprise killed him, basically. Uh, anyway, Sombre did pick up his uh, his frag as well, so they're now up to one and one. And... So, they're just healing each other out at this moment, really. Yeah, Slip has to deal uh, with... The turret means he walks away. Oh, he eats a rocket. Ooh, Sombra does not get the real angle. So, a clean mega health for Slip, but he's uh, low on armor. Let's get this light. Sombra hits. Nice reel to keep Slip at bay. Oh, he's totally unaware of the position of Sombra, so he. Does a panic pop of his uh, ability, but he's actually getting the damage out. Sombra readable, and he he takes the jump path, but slip misses, <laughs> but meets his doom by Timmy the turret. Oh, Timmy saves the day, and uh, that's gonna yeah. suck for for slip, but uh, he's not giving up so easily. Well, I must, must say, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed there by Slip's uh, the way that he approached that. And uh, yeah, just showing confidence in that engagement. And yeah, now it's now it's back to two and two. And, uh, there's an awful lot of just feeling each other out, I feel like. They're just, you know, just really trying to determine where the other player is by 
firing a lot of warning rockets and stuff like that. They don't really want to overextend into anything, and that's sort of, you know, this map has got a lot of narrow corridors and stuff like that, and yeah, you don't want to run into a player here. Uh, obviously, Slip's got that ghost walk to pop. Oh, that's a that nice direct from Sombre. He does pop the ghost walk to steal the mega, and that's a nice job, but in the end, he goes down anyway. Sombre, I feel like he wasn't 100% ready for that, but still managed to make the absolute best out of that situation. Oh! <laughs> 90 damage from the turrets. That's Dude, hurting the MVP, this match. Yeah, but, but Sombra actually should chase this one up. Right? The, the, both items are up at the same time. Oh, but Slip misses the jump. Yeah, Sombra isn't aware of it, of course. He's just uh, down in the dark corridors. But that would have been an opportunity to get another frag on the board. Five minute warning. Yeah, and also good control over the items, so... Perhaps a little bit of a missed opportunity, but obviously it's he doesn't know exactly how low slip is. Um, but yeah, I suppose yeah, you could still sort of calculate it in your head. Um, but anyway, he's still up a frag. But let's see if he can make anything out of this. Here comes slip barreling in and nearly zombie nearly gets that frag, but in the end slip takes it, and that's a three to three scoreline now between the two here, between the two uh, Spaniards and. It's nice to see that Slip was able to get that frag because that was a sort of a do or die situation, really, just jumping in and uh, testing that item and everything. And uh, I think at this point now, there's. Uh... I'm not sure what's going to happen now. Yeah, there sometimes <laughs> the turret <laughs> is not an advantage. Now, the burst, the burst damage. Uh damage that uh, got onto the turret also hit Sombra. But, but I do think like none of the players are really following up the damage they are dishing out. Okay, the ghost pocket popped again. Oh, okay, Sombra is ready for it this time, but slip with some nice movement and a nice rail to finish off the job, and all of a sudden he's turned it around. It's now 4 to 3 here for Slip, and I feel like this is where this is the turning point here. If he can get another frag here, and he could. Sombre is, is a, in a pretty dire situation, just 77 HP, picks up that health pump, he's up to 100, but he's got no armor. And if Slip can find a clean frag here, he can go straight up to that heavy. Oh, this is the dream situation. Look, he can get up to that heavy, and he's also gonna be able to get the mega, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's good from Slip. Very, very good from Slip. He does put actually the ghost walk, and that's the fifth, sixth drag. And that, yeah, that I, th I feel like that was a turning point right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, he now has the frustration or the frustrating situation that he uh, has to fight the next so in the lead. A bit uh, well, working with the control actually. And then has to invis every 30 seconds, so yeah, you need to frag your opponent two times. Oh yeah. And she's yeah. so slippery with the wall jump. It went really well for uh, yeah, like uh, about six minutes. Yeah. But it, it, it can still turn around. Uh, four frags on a light on such a small map. You do have to... Yeah, well, okay. He has control on the heavy, he loses out on the mega health and... Yeah, actually appears a little bit too late to do the extra damage because he does connect the rail. Yeah, he needs to delay this light. So it is a, it's a rather small map, like you say, but it's still a, a lot of places to hide, and also he's got the ghost walk, so... At this point, he's just trying to be annoying, really, yeah, to Sombre. He, he's also missing a rocket launcher. Like, he, he could have oh. maybe rocket jumped after that, uh, that rail from uh, Slip. 
Did you? He did yeah. not have the weapon. Oh, but I... oh no, he misses the rocket jump. And he's not aware where. No oh, slip popped the invis. He's still alive after getting hit by the real. Finally. Um. Yeah, but is finally, there still time? working. No, there isn't. I think Sombre is now. He's working with a really, really good uh, stack and timing and everything. Uh, there's just a, not enough time. He can get another frag here, which he probably will. Oh, the ghost walk. This is this is the ghost walk. Like, it's such a key moment to to pop it because yeah, it's just 30 seconds left. He's not going to be able to have it now for the rest of the game, but it doesn't really matter. He's buying at least 15, 20 seconds from that. And that means so much in in this state of the game. Uh, that was it. Uh, Sombre had a chance to get at least one frag there, or could maybe stay rack that up to two. But yeah, that's just the power of Nyx on this map. You know, just uh, well on any map really, just uh, having that as a lifeline. You lose. You lose. So uh, in the end, Slip takes that uh, nine to five. Ran away there in the end, really. Once he, well, once he, there was this key moment. He got a clean frag off of Sombre, picked up the heavy, and also contested Mega and did so very successfully. That was everything for him. That was, you know, Sombre. I think got one frag after that, but it was just uh, Slip was in full control. He could take every engagement and he could feel comfortable doing so because he always had a better stack uh, and you know. Uh, a better read, really, of, of the situation. So, uh, yeah, that's Sombre's uh, last uh, match in this tournament. True. And